Ezi Dagestani, Zadam Shri Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Asham Kabbani, Shaykh Adnan Kabbani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Mawlana Khani Kul Khujtubwani, Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Mahdi Alayhi Salaam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa Alayhi Salaam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina Alayhi Salaam, Thumma Sayyidina Abbaqa Siddiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam Al-Hasan Alayhi Salaam, Imam Al-Husayn Alayhi Salaam, Sayyidatina Fatima Tiz Alayhi Salaam, Usair wa Sadatina, Siddiqeena Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Shafati Ya Rasulul Kareem, Fa'awza Billahi Min Shaitanir Radeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul, Ulil al Amri Minkum, and always a reminder from myself, and Abdukil Ajis al Daifu, Miskeen al Zal, al Mujahad, and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. And Alhamdulillah that the holy month of Zul Hajj inshaAllah opening in the next couple of days and the 10 holiest days of the year in which to complete our journey for 12 months moving through these parda veils and hijabs of reality through the guidance of awliyaullah to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and this is a immense light, immense blessings and that Allah inshaAllah complete His ni'mat and blessings upon our souls and our reality. And that wherever we came sure that Allah accept our qurban and everyone to the limit of their qurban and their ability. They say, oh Shaykh I don't have for entire qurban, well qurban can be a chicken, can be an egg can be a, a goat, a lamb, whatever to the ability that people have that, Ya Rabbi through the means of this I acknowledge my insignificance, I acknowledge my faults and that I came through the path of bad character, of admitting to my bad character and through the door of ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad and that our reliance is upon the intercession of Prophet for ourselves, our families and our communities. So to meet up, to admit to our weakness is important so that other people don't have to say, oh you're prideful, boastful, you're this or that, say, no I've already admitted to my weakness and before Allah we've admitted to our weakness and that Allah accepts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our qurban, our sacrifice that Allah describes is a tremendous sacrifice in which Sayyidina Ibrahim and the pinnacle of his life and his belief because Hajj represents the practices of belief and faith. And then the pinnacle of faith that Allah will ask from you everything, they will ask from you your money, your property, your time, things from your life, everything is on the table for Allah so it means our life is a life of sacrifice, to give our time, to give our wealth, to give our life, to give our service, everything, everything. And wherever that service came short from being complete, what Allah gave to Sayyidina Ibrahim was that uh, He asked something that Sayyidina Ibrahim was not capable of fulfilling. And as a result of not fulfilling that Allah's rahmah and mercy is that we gave him a tremendous ransom. Means immense mercy one because Allah wanted Sayyidina Ibrahim to achieve his station regardless 
and not to, to fall from grace and from what Allah wanted. Then Allah's showing of immense mercy that where you came short, I'm going to put the secret in this sacrifice, this qurban that you sacrifice this property of yours, this creature for the sake of your shortcomings and shortfalls. And as a result Allah takes with its blood all these difficulties. It becomes a mirage for the creature because they live the life of service, everything has to serve. They didn't come only to eat and to produce waste but the greatest service for these creatures was to serve Bani Adam, the children of Adam and Eve, that could be the greatest service. So I mean a tree didn't come into existence just to have apples that fall into the ground. So the tree's service is that it produces its fruit and nothing can be higher than the children of Adam and Eve to eat from that fruit because وَلَقَدْ كَرَامْنَ Bani Adam that they're the honoured creation of Allah So like the, the, like the nobility of paradise coming to eat from the fruits, to use from the creatures. So then Allah in infinite hikmah and wisdom, these creatures have a way of reaching their mirage, their highest purpose, the pinnacle of their existence through the qurban and sacrifice throughout the year and throughout every moment they're being sacrificed so people can eat and nourish and to feed themselves. So everything shows us in nature that the highest and pinnacle of belief is self-sacrifice, right? So one we pointed is the immense importance of the qurban so people can't guesstimate or say, oh I don't need to do qurban, okay well then you, you missed God's greatest mercy. And it doesn't have to be huge, everybody to their ability. Even people who don't have it they go buy an egg and say, yeah but there's all I have in this world that they accept this qurban and you sacrifice it in a place and throw it that the creatures will eat from it so it's not something wasted. Means any type of sacrifice shows to us that one Allah will take burdens and difficulties away with that. Then there's the isharat and, and guidance within the reality of self-sacrifice. Means the tree's noble existence is if it allows itself to be cut and chopped and burned for warmth, for fragrance. Some trees you burn and they produce a sandalwood of fragrance. Some trees you, you hit them and they give fruit. So it means everything in God's creation shows us their highest pinnacle of their existence is self-sacrifice and to live a life for sacrifice. That if I sacrifice my time, first I come and I sacrifice my money because that locks you into your belief. If you don't have money invested in your path you're not really going to believe in it and you keep choosing and going different places. So you, you, you put this into your entry, you sort of paid into it, you're locked into it. Then you start to, once you're locked into it, you start to invest your time. That I'm going to come, I'm going to listen, I'm going to take notes, I'm going to go out and live a life of service. So the whole reality of our existence on the pinnacle of hajj, and the movement for faith has to do with Jabal Rahmah and Arafah. And Arafah is about sacrifice and about the qurban in which Sayyidina Ismail was accepting to be sacrificed. So we've given that story before and they can go to the Muhammadan Way website nurmuhammad.com and read about Sayyidina Ibrahim and Islam, Iman wal Maqam al Ihsan. And we talked recently about it that Maqam al Ihsan comes to save us. Means that what we do of our Islam, we come to submit. What we've produced within our reality of our soul is our iman, our faith. But you don't have to defend your Islam and you don't have to defend your iman because your Islam and your iman produce moral excellence. So Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidatina Hagar 
What did they produce? Because one is representing their Islam and their form, uh, Sayyidatina Hagar is representing as salam the reality of the soul and what they produced was Sayyidina Ismail as salam an immense, immense reality of maqam al-ihsan and perfection. And that the perfection came and, and spoke the truth that, I will sacrifice myself for the sake of Allah So this is an immense gift, immense gift. And in our lives that we don't have to keep proving our Islam, we don't have to keep proving our iman, but our maqam al-ihsan should speak for itself. The proof is in the pudding, right? The faith in action. You don't have to go around and credential yourself everywhere, take out a card and say, no, no, I, I really follow Islam, here's my Islam card. And uh, you don't have to go around keep showing your Iman card, no, I'm, I have a person of faith, I have a, uh, here's my faith card and keep trying to sort of validate yourself for other people which is never any good. Because Allah doesn't want you chasing people to validate yourself. But your ihsan, your moral excellence should speak for itself. The proof is in the pudding, that's expression. Maybe in Pakistan they don't know what the heck we're talking about, what does she keep saying proof in the pudding? <laughs> Faith in action, right? You go around all day long and say, hey my Islam is really good. Well, who cares, who's going to believe you? The Zahiris do that, they talk about how their Islam is good. <laughs> and you go around trying to tell people your Iman is correct, I have faith brother, I have faith Akhi. That nobody cares and I would doubt anybody who said their faith is good. But what should speak for you is your actions which is maqam al-ihsan, your moral excellence. Because if you had Islam and you really tried to submit and you did your practices based on faith, your service should speak for itself. That's it and that's all that Allah wants is that if you don't have any service then what is speaking for you? You're going and doing what? What was the purpose of your Islam? That you just had to have a beard or that you, you have an appearance or you, you, you talk about hajj? But all of Islam was to build a certain character that would discipline you, would make you to be soft, to be compassionate, to speak good, speak kind, everything. Well, why people pray and then they're, they're always harsh, why they're angry, why they have all these crazy characteristics. So their Islam is imperfected and then their iman and their faith has to be based on something opening from the world of light. If they did their Islam correctly means they didn't focus too much on the donkey but just enough to get it to be disciplined and then they began to focus on their iman, their faith in the world of faith. To believe in Allah's books, to believe in Allah's angels, to believe in destiny, good or bad whatever is written means to believe in a world of light because the angels, the books and it's all these are haqqaiqs and realities. When the person has these beliefs and they have the discipline of their physicality of their Islam, what happens then? They should have good actions and that shows their moral excellence. Moral excellence is not something you say you have but if you have moral, ex moral excellence you establish things. You establish events, you establish charities, you establish projects, you establish things so that people can put their faith in action. Wherever there are rijal whom are trying to establish their faith, this is the himma of their reality. They go and they make sure things start to happen in their areas. And that's the moral excellence, that's what Allah is looking for. Not that you have to carry an ID card to validate yourself for every other Muslim because we don't do what we do for anyone because in the end they tried to hang you anyways. You do what you do for Allah And what Allah He's looking for the pudding, He's, look <laughs> he's looking for the, where's the actions, where, where's the goods? 
So when the men are going out and giving food, see these are the actions. Those actions speak louder than words. We can make a thousand flyers but it means nothing. And then they complain about the flyers, oh why are you got promoting so much? What do you mean why are you promoting? How you would tell the hungry people that the people with money shake their pockets? How will the two know each other? How will the people who have money know that the people want water if you don't promote it? The promotion is not that people be happy and clap their hands for you but to empty their pockets so that you can build those things. And in the end we don't care who believes it or not but what was important was Allah was the action. So, okay you guys your actions now speak. When they go out and they saved how many hundreds of thousands of pounds these guys collected in, in Vancouver. Your trucks arriving all the time in your driveway and on the street in Chicago, Los Angeles, is it, they're going now all over. In, in Pakistan, in India, wherever these, these people are, even in Singapore and Florida and in different states people have the himma. They don't have to have large projects but the zeal within themselves that they're struggling in their discipline, they're applying the, the, the principles of their faith and they want it now to show like a child, it has to manifest. This love has to manifest into something, if it's real, what happens? What becomes the child of a husband, a wife? The child is a manifestation of that love. So the child or the food programs or the wells or the water or the charities or the maulids or the events, whether they're done on large scale by shaykhs because the shaykhs should be showing also. So why do I follow this shaykh? Well because look at the faith in action. Not the murids he has sitting on a couch cursing everyone who comes into their chat group. Those are hood, hood, uh, hooligans. Those are like yeah, people who own the soccer teams. Have you seen in the UK the soccer teams? They walk down the street and they beat each other up. No, but the shaykh that I'm following, his students go out and give food. They have vans. They, they have programs, they organize things and then they do charitable acts. The people in Pakistan are amazing. They have a team of people going and building wells and then giving maulids, repairing orphanages. That's why, that's why I follow that shaykh because his faith is in action and his students are his proof. They have to, that's the proof for Allah Can you imagine trying to validate yourself for people? and they have jealous eyes, they see nothing but uh, badness through their eyes. That's why Allah says, leave them, mention Allah and do your thing and go. Because Allah is looking to, where's the water, where's the food, where's the charity, where's the love, where's the sincerity? That how come your, your, your teachings don't affect people to change? They don't have to be perfected and walking on clouds but they are perfected because they talk right, they speak right, they don't fight people, we don't fight anyone, we don't curse people in chat groups, we don't do any of these outwardly repulsive characteristics and it's not accepted for many of our people. And on top of that they're all emailing, how should I get some food in my area? Very simple, get this shirt, take a letter, go to Starbucks. Say, all these bakeries you're throwing away, I'll pick them up tomorrow and give them out. So, oh, well we have somebody for tomorrow, we'll come Wednesday. And go to all of these Western organizations in the Western world that they don't want to throw away their sweets and their bakeries. Grocery stores that are in abundance throwing things in incinerators, say, I come and pick it up. This is the himma and the sign of faith for people. And Allah will open for these servants, why? Because Allah wants their faith to become complete. Allah knows, Allah is saying, yes this is a part of the maqam al-ihsan that I want this ajr and I want this reward written for these servants. And Allah is the one who puts into the heart of that store manager, take as much as you want. Come take this, take that, take this, take that because Allah wants those servants to be written maqam al-ihsan, yes. I accepted their Islam, I accepted their Iman 
and definitely I'm writing now for them Maqom al ihsan so that what? That becomes your ID in the grave. When you reach to the grave say, Rabbi I'm not going to answer to anything, my actions will speak for themselves. My wells will speak to you, the food will speak to you, the, the people I fed will speak to you, the students that I trained and what they learned will speak to you. That speaks oceans, not taking a card and publishing it and say, this is my license. This is… if you publish that card just for no value because they'll come back and say, it's forged. They didn't validate anything because Allah's teaching you, you're going for jealous eyes. You think those jealous eyes will ever accept anything you do? You give them a license, they'll say it's fake. Don't chase people, don't be concerned what people say. It's not a popularity contest. The only thing we have to chase is our deeds, are they all doing good? Are our people giving out food? Push them to give more. Are the people putting out wells? push them to do more. That's our validation because Allah opened it for us and open the wisdom and the hikmah of it. In your area buy some pizza if you have a little bit of extra money, go out to the homeless and give them food, give them water, give them some sort of relief, send the money into the orphanages to take care of children whom they'll feel the love for Prophet that Prophet cared about them. When we say the greatness of Milad and Nabi that it's, its reality can't be understood. Imagine celebrating that with yateem, adults one thing, alhamdulillah for the blessing. But those whom the likelihood of them being in, invited to such event on a grand scale is very unlikely, they're not the children of wealthy people, they're orphans. And that to bring that orphan to receive the light, the same light that Grand Shaykh is talking about because these are Naqshbandi shaykhs holding these events. So Shaykh Daghestani's blessing is coming on to all these yateems. Last year was six, seven, eight hundred children, all being dressed on the Nine year seclusion with Shaykh Daghestani all being dressed by that and they go away feeling that Prophet had a love for them and remembered them. Those are the actions we take to the grave. So means that in this month of Hajj that's opening up, reminding ourselves don't chase people, don't, don't look for the who's popular amongst other people. If you follow your shaykh and you think though I want that shaykh to be popular and be validated and then that will validate me somehow, know that your good deeds are your validation. Did the shaykh encourage you to do your good deeds? It's a given that your Islam, that's basic kindergarten. Then iman is the world of light and meditation and tafakkur, that you'll see very few shaykhs inspiring you on these levels. And then most important is that is he encouraging you to maqam al-ihsan, that to give you good deeds and that your good deeds will go with you as a companion into the grave. The mashaykh inspired me to feed hundreds of people, thousands of people, hundreds and thousands of pounds of food. I was occupying the trucks when we were picking them up and giving them out. Those deeds is what Hajj is teaching us. Means the time in which we sacrifice those deeds are saving us, those deeds are the proof of the path that I want to be with somebody that encourages me towards these deeds. We pray that Allah give us a great understanding, contemplation that what is my maqam al ihsan that I'm following, the shaykh taught me Islam alhamdulillah, the shaykh is definitely teaching me all about iman and and having good character and meditate, contemplate, there's a devil within if you don't contemplate and catch him then he's just going to run rapid until he destroys your entire family, you are your worst enemy. If you let somebody's mouth open they go until they hang themselves and burn everything in their home because this is the devil within people. But if they meditate, contemplate, keep their washing, keep their practices 
And then the shaykh inspire within their heart, now go out and give food. Go out and, and send support, you have a good job send support so we can give food, we can make orphanages, we repair orphanages, we can make water wells. All of these are then my maqam al-ihsan, this is the proof that Allah wants to see in my path and that's the only validation that will count in the grave. Not a thousand people come and validate you because today they love you, tomorrow they hate you, to then the next day they will betray you. But the deeds that are done for Allah those are the deeds that will be saving us, inshaAllah subhanahu wa rabbika rabbal Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.